click that there. Alright guys, this is going to be a fun little game. Guess the picture. I'm going to start painting, and you can see how long it takes you to get it. So, let's get cracking. Use a bit of water in this one. Here we go. Perfectos. Can I be serious? Here we go. Beautiful. There we go. Let's get a bit of this through here. And woohoo! Let's add it on. Lots and lots of brown on brown. That's what this is, brown on brown right now. Yellow ochre, straight on to dark brown masonite. Favorite combo. Might even get a feather brush for this one. There we go. Mixy mixy. Hey LJ, how we doing? And Samara, welcome on in. Oh, it's a good day here. It's a good day here. Lovely warm day. I forget, where are you from, Samara? If you're from Auckland, and it hasn't been the most incredibly warm day, but it has been a day. Here we go. I'm looking forward to being out of this brown. This is not doing it for me. It's too thick. Put this down here. Oh, Shrone! Welcome from Tennessee. No, wait. Las Vegas. And hey, Pink, how are we doing? Don't you just love some fresh canvas in the morning? Isn't it just the business? Yes, we're all craving. This one, uh, FYI, is a wee bit more abstract than our regular agenda. So take that in mind when you're trying to work out what's happening. little bit. How's that positioning? There we go. <laughs> and good afternoon to you too. Welcome on in mate. Okay, let's get some of this thing Lots of red. A lot of you join me on, um, oh, good question. You have to guess. I'm not going to give away all the clues to you this time. <laughs> um, a lot of you join me on Instagram and sort of put together, the, put together the whale picture. If you're just joining me here, welcome. And I also, <laughs> cheers for the dancing beaver, mate. You absolute champion. Did I work at Goblin Co? Yes, I did. If you're going to keep sending through gifts like that, you've got to tell me how to pronounce your name. That's only fair. <laughs> Here we go. And yes, I did. I was the ops manager at Coven Co for 
about six years. Time flies when you're having fun. Okay. Move them all through here. Of course, it's planning to move on with a different career path, probably around just before COVID hit. And once COVID hit, it was all hands on deck. And then uh, I stayed till about a year and a half after the last lockdown. Then we pursued my fortune. Looks like Manicow. It's actually Albany. This is the crate. Flexible office space at the crate. Albany? It's technically Rosedale, I suppose. Technically Rosedale. Yeah, be serious. There we go. Smash the paint around here. What career path did I choose? Yeah, so I went straight from ops manager of a restaurant franchise to full-time artist. How about that? Wild trajectory, right? <laughs> and hello, how we doing? Appreciate you, mate. You're an absolute legend. Here we go, let's get a bit more through here. Like I said, guys, this one's just a wee bit more abstract. You got the last one too easily with the guessing game, so I've, I'm trying to throw you like a little bit of a curveball. And maybe, just maybe, I can get you. Who knows? I might get you, or I might not at all. Maybe Victoria's already seen me like, I got it. But somehow I feel like this one might be. A little more challenging, a little more complex. Yeah, Samara, absolutely. Of course, I always did art, but um, it was only once I thought, ah, it's time for that little bit of change. That I think, let's just jump off the deep end and see if I can't. Well, I guess I was sort of forced off the deep end in that I couldn't keep up with people wanting things like commissions and I started to figure out that unless I gave up my job I wouldn't be able to keep up with people who want things so it's a tough decision but I made the leap did you give away the print already? Yes, indeed, LJ. So I've given it away on the reel. The reel was, um, bada bing ba ba. The reel of me with Violet, the horse. A lot of people submitted entries. Um, a lot of people submitted entries, but um, I chose a lady called, was it Sharp or Ashley? I forget exactly, but I um, there were lots of regulars in there, the OG fans, and so to make it fair, I thought best thing to do is actually um, best thing to do is spread out the love across. Uh, so to do that, I gave it out at random. So got everyone's hat names in a hat, and then chose a victor from there. And I thought that was the most fair way to do it. In my mind, put that down there. <laughs> yeah. So that's some of the people here at the crate, actually. You know about the crate? It's the office space in which I work. Here we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. I just want you to know that you're my favorite girl. Beautiful. 
da 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 Tanya, how are we doing? And what's my plans for Christmas? Oof, oof, oof. I'm gonna be down in uh, Totoma in Rotorua. That's my plan currently. Nice relaxing Christmas with family. And uh, ooh, where's the, yes, there go. yeah, there we go. Nice relaxing Christmas with family. Um, and where do I live now? Still in Auckland. And this is where I work, where the studio is based, Oriwa, not Oriwa, um, Albany, at the crate. Here we go. Beautiful. Amazing. Oh, you've got to go. You've got to go. Rotorua's got the most geothermal activity out of almost anywhere in the world. Then it comes second to Yellowstone. But, uh, still, very impressive. Alrighty, tighty. Next color. I can scrub down this one here. Here, and let's grab a bunch of this luscious dark color here. Are you trying to confuse us with the Christmas colors? Well, I actually am running low on color, LJ. Well, spot. It's not a Christmas painting, but uh, it did cross my mind, being that I was loaded with uh, Christmas colors, but no, no, it's not. Um, I should have not said that actually, because I might be able to use that as something to throw you off some more. But anyway, it's too late now. It's not technically a Christmas painting. There we go. Beautiful. Mario here. Mario. I was just saying before Mario, I live in Auckland. Auckland's home, and this is work at the crate. There we go. Do you live every day? I do. Sometimes I, some days I feel like I live less than other days, but uh, I do my best to live every day. I think we all feel like that. Some days you live more than others. And that's okay. Okay, let's see it. Dun, 
Dr. Sybil on the canvas, you better believe it. Um, oh, do I go live every day? No, I don't. I try to. I should go live every day. But no, I, I've been a little bit slack as of late. But don't worry. <laughs> We're going to improve coming up to Christmas. <laughs> Especially once I get down to some more nature. So, I miss you every now and again though, guys. Every now and again. Let's get just a little bit more down through here. Here we go. Beautiful. That's what I'm after. Let me come on around here. And then over the shoulder. Get through here. Jeepers. Can be careful of what I say out loud actually. I don't get myself in trouble. <laughs> Here we go. It feels like a jazz piece. Ooh. That's wild you can say that actually. Because it does have a jazzy vibe to it. So you're doing very good there, LJ. Okay? Out for the day? Well, I'm only wearing this outfit today, which would make it the outfit of the day. Most certainly. I just wonder if I have enough paint to get through it, is the question. You're off to sleep? Alright Jose, we'll catch you later. Um, it's not Michael Jackson, but I like your thinking, I like your thinking. You're close. <laughs> Kidding, you're not too close. Get some more in here. Is the jury still out? Hopefully the jury's still out. Where are my shoes from? An off shop. Twelve dollars. They sell the sticker on the bottom of them. How cool is that? <laughs> Shelby Cooper's supposed to be working. But she's here. And it's great to have her here. Here we go. Slash that through there. <laughs> yeah, I like to leave them on for as long as possible, LJ. It's like a sticker on a um, hat. You know, people like to leave the stickers on hats to like show off the fact that they're new. I feel like the same goes with op shop stuff. The longer you can keep the uh, sticker on the op shop clothes, it's like a sign you can gloat with. <laughs> um, it's not anyone famous, I'll say that, so you might not actually know who it is, specifically. 
but it is someone. Look at that. So it's no wild card like a water skier or an elephant jumping or a boat or something like that. It's uh, very much so one thing. What? Alright, I'm going to clean this brush off. And then, we'll stand back a little look -see. Ah, it's coming together. It's coming together. Next colour off the ranks is going to be yellow. We're going to throw it around like an absolute madman and see where that takes us. Here we go. Lots of yellow. Uninhibited yellow. We won't use that brush though. Swap down to a slightly smaller one. Here we go. Sneak that around through here. Whoa, see how that highlights. Now we're talking. <laughs> now we're talking. Alright, this is exactly what we need, team. It's depths of wood, you reckon? You reckon? Could be. It's funny though how you vote, not vote, see so quickly what you think it might be. I wonder if it's because it gives off that vibe a little bit. I think if there ever was evidence of vibe, it'd be how fast you pick things like it's jazzy, it's this, it's that, you know? Provided it is feminine and it is jazzy, of course. Is it a movie star? Um, not one that I've ever seen. Could be though. Could be. Let's get a bit more water in here. Make it run just a little easier. Um, you should paint the scenery outside the window. A disabled parking lot. It's possible. But then if I was painting the scenery outside the window, you'd guess it straight away. So we've got to do something interesting and different. Here we go. More of that. Darkness. 
and then we can get a little bit of this and bring it up through here as well. Right up to here. There we go. A little bit in here. Beautiful. And then bring it a little bit. Yeah, through there. Uh um. Gonna stay high all the time. It's about capturing the beauty of nature in that moment. Well, why? Is it about, is it about capturing a moment? Mm, I think if it's about capturing a moment, I think a camera does a really good job of capturing a moment. But if it's about more than capturing a moment, and you think actually it's about creating something new, then time's less relevant. And I think you find that a lot of those old masters, Monet and Van Gogh, would be fairly excited at the prospect of being able to work from a photo. Being that if they had a photo to work from, they could capture all that wonderful light in a way that's only existing for a split second in reality. But they could do it with wonderful pigments and hues in abundance. So I reckon. What's, what's the been a time you were stuck in an art rut? Oh, you'll end up in them all the time. Sometimes you can fight through them and sometimes you can't. The trick is, the trick is to know how to get out of them once you're in them. That's where the art form comes in. I've done a couple of reels on that. So a lot of the time, we end up getting ourselves in one of the ruts. We don't really prepare for how to get out of it until we're in it so deep that it's really got a hold on us. I want you to get that far before you work out your tips and your tricks to get yourself out of it. Even up in creative blocks almost every day. Hi Eileen, how are we doing? <laughs> and thanks Bree. What art piece brings me joy? Oh my god. Now you're asking the big questions. So many of them. I think some of them that are focused around bringing joy bring the most joy. I know that makes, <laughs> that seems obvious, but um, some of them are focused around vigor, vitality, movement, energy. Um, not usually sadness, remembering, love, a lot of them bring love, but uh, I think it's really important that to say it brings joy doesn't mean that it's better than the other ones, it just means that was the focus of that particular painting. So what's a good example of that? Mahalo. Mahalo was designed to bring joy. Um, joy, vitality and energy. Um, Cassie's Joy, that was a picture of a dog, that was designed, that project was almost entirely centred around the joy the dog felt towards Greg the owner. Um, what's some other good examples? Basically any picture of a dog has abundant joy in it. <laughs> can't help it. And then I follow my pride. Aloha Steve, how are we doing? Yes indeed. I thought since we're back, let's do one on Instagram, one on TikTok. Say hi to everyone. And thanks Susan, I appreciate you. Have I explored other forms of art? I've explored all over the show guys. I've tried all sorts of different things and I'm always trying new things. Right now we're actually experimenting with type of paint. 
that I've never used before. Well, <laughs> we use egg tempera all the time, but never pre-made egg tempera. And I'm going to be honest, because I'm honest with you guys, hey Cheryl, how you doing? Um, I don't like it as much as I like making it myself. I don't have as much confidence that I know exactly what's in it, opposed to me knowing exactly where my pigments and my eggs come from. I don't think it's as much control. I think it's a beauty to actually understanding the locations and homes of your ingredients. I think that's more to the case. There we go. Someone asked when you paint who you're inspired by. Ooh wee. Cheryl, who am I inspired by when I paint? I'm inspired by a lot of different kinds of artists. A lot of different kinds of artists. I like um, Van Gogh, Picasso, Monet, Rembrandt, all these old classics, but I've said this before, I'll say it again. You don't have to just be inspired by artists to be moved. You can be inspired by people in all sorts of walks of life. Especially if you've already got your goal. Goal with your art, if you're seeking in my case, to capture a contagious joy and happiness, you don't need to just hear from artists now. Who else is proliferating joy in their own way, in their own lives? Who else is touching people and supporting the world to become a better place? You can now listen to them as well, take feedback from them, understand philosophically how to further your craft. Hello from Thailand. I'm doing fantastic. Uh, sorry. How's Shelby? Shelby is doing fantastic. Just answering for me. She's happy as Larry. Larry must be a pretty happy individual if you ask me. Always buzzing. There we go. There we are. Who knows what it is at this stage? Have I given it away enough yet? Or are we still in the dark of what it might be? <laughs> and how have you been? I've been great. I've been good. <laughs> Um, no, but Aussie's next door to New Zealand, basically the same place, basically the same place. Cheryl, I've also been away on the farm, so I've been busy um, doing farm work this last week, and that's part of the reason why I disappeared. Come back now. Polynesian girl, Ooh. you guys are hot on the tail of it. You. I think you're on to my naughty ways, actually. I think you're spotting how I'm going about this. Gonna have to get, I'm going to have to get more tricky with you, folk. <laughs> Either more tricky or more abstract, one of the two. Haven't quite decided yet. But I don't do something. Because you're guessing me too often.
<laughs> a lot of dialogue going on there. I need to read all that all out, but. Here we go. Beautiful. Looking around through here. And down through here. Then, there we go. We're running low on paint team. Gonna thread this needle sooner rather than later. Blues for our final little uh, window opportunity. Beautiful. Let's grab a bunch of this blue, mix that in here. Lovely. for fun Betty yes indeed we are doing we are doing I guess the painting session just while I'm trying to figure out if I like these um go ahead new paints always you end up starting a uh, commission or a original with a paint that you're just not fully in love with so this is play guys we're involving ourselves in play. So very, very healthy. Beautiful. That's that out. Okay, all we've got left now, team, is just a little bit of red, and then we are out of paint. Looks organic. It is. Egg tempera. Good guess. It is organic. Or as organic as organic can be. little stroke and we're done all right a few of you were hot on the heels of what this is uh, great question great question any tempera dries up lightning speed 
but it drives by a different process of emulsifying rather than actually evaporating and letting off, doing off gassing, which can do harm to you. If you let um, be around oils or acrylics too often, the off gassing can affect you. But with egg tempera, it just emulsifies, which means it binds on the surface rather than coming out. She looks beautiful. It looks like a few of us are onto it. Looks like a few of us are onto it. All right. Let's see how we did. All right. We have a little look-see here. We have a lady who is in a gown and she's looking out to the side. A little bit jazzy um, and got a pair of jeans here, cloth holding her on. I'll spin around and show you guys from the picture. So we'll say that for me. Voila, here's our character. There we have it. <laughs> there she is, and there she is. Uh, yes, you guys did. You guys did call it. And Aram, yes, we are. Anyway, that's been a bundle of joy. Um, in a mood. Yeah, but it's quite wild and messy, guys. That's part of the fun of it. It's zany, fun, jazzy. It's a bit uh, wild, colourful energy to it. And a lot of primal colours in there. So I like that. Um, but rewinding there. Egg tempera, it's much more natural, so if you prefer more of a natural approach um, over a more chemical or synthetic approach, egg tempera is a great way to start and it lasts longer, almost indefinitely, as opposed to oils and acrylics that can fade over 500 years. Egg tempera, forever. Anyway guys, it's been an absolute pleasure. There's our little fun session for today and <laughs> cheers Cheryl. Um, and it's good to see you all again. Cheryl, long time no see, so good to have you back. Um, hope you and your family are well, and everyone else, hope you're looking after yourselves, and I will see you next time. Cheers, guys. Bye. Oh, JB. Hey, mate. <laughs> see you guys. If I can find the button here.